Alright guys, let's just dive straight in. And uh, This is the Konami code, if you're not familiar with it. It's um, used back in the, the, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, NES, whatever you want to call it, days. And basically what you did was you entered up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, and then you got like a cheat menu, or you got infinite lives, or you got like invulnerability, or, or something. And um, so I wanted to implement this in, in Unity, so let's go ahead and do that. So I've gone ahead and uh, created this now. R right now we don't have a cheat mode, we don't really have a game, but we just want to implement the Konami code in our game. So what I did was I, I, I just created this uh, bit of text here that's called Unlocked, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make the Konami code. Okay, so I'm going to go and create a folder here called Scripts, keep everything nice and tidy, and then inside here I'm going to create one called Konami Code. Now the Konami Code um, is is just a sequence of key presses. Um, so I'm going to assume that we're using a PC here. Uh, it's going to be slightly trickier on console, especially when you get to like using this controller here. There's the, uh, <laughs> that's the thumbnail. Um, because these are, these are analog. Uh, so it becomes a little bit trickier for that. So right now I'm just going to implement um, the Konami code using uh, just a keyboard rather than a, a controller here. Okay. Um, so the Konami code, uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to use actual key codes for this. So um, I'm going to define an array which is going to contain all the Konami codes. So uh, that's going to be private um, key code um, keys equals new key code array, and our key code array is going to be uh, key code dot up arrow so it's up up and then it's down down and then it's left arrow left arrow right arrow so it's left arrow right arrow left arrow right arrow left arrow right arrow and then it's key code B, Oops. key code A. All right, yeah. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay, and that's the, the key code there. And now <clears throat> our start, I'm just going to do I enumerator uh, for our start, uh, which means we don't need an update. Um, I don't think we need an update anyway. So what we want to do is we want to determine what the current index is. So we, we basically what happens is when the, the player presses the key, we want to increment the the element in this. The, we want to increment the the a counter in this array, or a counter pointing to this uh, an element in the array. So the next key then has to be pressed. And then if you break that sequence, then um, you fail the the, um, the the key code and then you don't get the the extension. Okay, then you don't get the, the free lives or whatever. So uh, is a key pressed? Um, and so if it is a key pressed, is it the is well is the current key pressed and if it is what we want to do is we want to increment the index uh, reset the timer and uh, if the index is equal to the length of the code uh, then that is going to be success. Uh, and then we want to say if timer runs out, then 
um, we want to set the index to zero and reset the timer. Okay. All right. So that's really what we want to do. So uh, all of this is happening while it's true. And so while the game's running, basically, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a yield return null to move on to the next frame. And inside here, we need to have our timer. So timer is 0f. Um, I'll come back to that in a sec. Okay, so uh, we need a global variable. Well, actually, we don't need a global variable here. We just need an int index. Index is zero. So this is the first key that needs. To, this is the current key that needs to be pressed, which is a reference to the element inside this array. So the first key is going to be the up arrow. So we're going to say if uh, input dot get key down. And then it's going to be uh, keys index. So if it's the current uh, key press, then we're going to increment the index. Um, so we're going to do index plus plus. And then we're going to start the timer off. And so the timer, uh, oops, timer equals and then we're going to make that a quarter of a second 0.25 okay so that's going to be a quarter of a second and uh, so we reset the timer to there if the success is the length of the code then okay so uh, if um, Actually, let's do this one first of all. So we can say if index equals keys dot length, then uh, success equals true. Else uh, timer equals that, and we can say timer equals zero f. So if timer is equal to zero, then that means the timer's off. We don't we don't bother doing any further processing. Um, we need to create a, a field here. So I'm going to do generate field uh, for success. So this is going to be a public. So we're going to expose this in another script. So this is going to be like a standalone script. We're not going to do anything else other than do the Konami code in here. Um, and uh, so that's if the current key press is set to be down. Okay. So if it's down, we do that. And then what do we want to do? Um, so we want to increment the index, reset the timer. If the success is equal to the length of code of success. If the timer runs out, set the index to be zero. Okay, so we want to say timer minus equals time dot delta time. If timer is less than zero, then we want to say timer equals zero, index equals zero. So we want to reset uh, our time index. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we need to do. Like I said, it's a kind of short uh, one, this one. Um, okay, so let's go back through and walk through the logic here. So if the user presses the current key down, then we increment the index. Um, if that new index is equal to the, the length of there, in other words, we're outside of the, the index, then success is equal to being true timer equals zero. So once you've entered something, then you, we can disable the Konami code and, and do whatever we need to do, uh, but success is equal to true. Otherwise, we start ticking the timer. And if the timer is ticking, then if the time runs out, so we're decrementing the, the time, the delta time. If the time runs out, then we reset the timer and we reset the, the index. So you have to basically start again from the beginning. Okay, 
So it's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay. Um, and now our other bit of text, or other bit of script, I should say, not text, is the bit that controls the text. So we're going to have our uh, cheat mode controller thing. And our cheat mode controller, uh, I am going to create a new empty object here called cheat mode controller. And I'm going to add cheat mode onto there. And our cheat mode uh, needs to have a public text uh, success text. And obviously we need to add our UI for that. And we're probably not going to use any of these. Um, and we also need to have a public Konami code. Actually, let's put the Konami code on the same object as this. So we'll do a void awake. code and we'll call this uh, code and we'll say code equals get component and it'll be Konami code and just to make sure that we get that component we're going to use requires component Konami code okay and now we're going to say if code equal uh, code dot success then Success text dot set active set uh, oh game object dot set active true. Um, so again, very very simple class. This one. So we have our our Konami code, which we need to um, we need to attach to the same object that has a Konami code, which is fine because it, Unity will do the right thing for us. Uh, once it saves, uh, okay, there we go, it saves again. So Konami code there, we've got our success text there. Um, now we can't have it in the same object because we need this to tick. And because success text is inactive in the scene, then that's not going to work for us. So that's why it's a separate object here. And then uh, our update um, does the checks to see if the code is successful. And if it is, then it sets active to be true. So here is our cheat mode here, and you'll see that we have our success text, and it hasn't added the Konami code. Well, normally it does. Okay, well, I don't know why that didn't do that. Um, and so we're gonna bring in our success text here. So just to make sure that this is kind of working, uh, I'm gonna run the game just now, and then we're just gonna to toggle this switch over here. So if I toggle this switch, you'll see that now we get the, the unlocked um, and it stays unlocked because we've entered the, the code correctly. So let's now try and enter the code. <laughs> now I need to be kind of quick for this one. Um, but uh, we'll see if we can get uh, the Konami code to enter on the first go. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's do um, print index. So let's see what, what we're getting here to see if that is uh, correct. And then we'll do print uh, resetting timer. So we'll do print resetting timer and then we'll do our console here. So hopefully we can get this to work. Um, let's see. Okay. Right, so, so it's resetting timer. Ah, okay. So if timer is, is less than zero, then resetting timer. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Do I want to add another flag here? I don't want to reset. So basically, what's happening is it's reset. It's constantly resetting the time uh, every time we're at. Uh, we're doing nothing. Well, uh, actually, let's see if this works. Um, no, I think it's...
it's always resetting time. Um, no, it's always resetting time. Let's, um, okay, let's do, um, have it const int uh, float. Um, wait time equals one. So let's put it up here so we can change it rather than going down here and having to manipulate it all the time. So uh, this will reset, uh, see the problem, okay. Time equals wait time, okay. No, that should work. This is one of these uh, sh uh, shower thoughts that I had, uh, and then put it to code. So it's resetting, it's constantly resetting the time, which is not really what I want it to do. Hey, that worked. Okay. Uh, hmm. So maybe maybe a quarter second is too fast. Let's just try random ones. Yeah, okay, so that's not working because I typed in the wrong code there. Okay, well, it seems to be working. Maybe a second is probably too long, maybe half a second. Because it's got to be kind of fairly twitchy. So now we know it works. We can get rid of this debug code. Now we get rid of print. And get rid of print there as well. Get rid of that blank line. And that's that there. And that's that one there. Okay. Uh, well, that really was quite quick. That's. Uh, Less than 18 minutes elapsed locally here. Uh, all right, uh, so let's do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. All right, job done. Unlocked Konami code in Unity. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, don't forget to thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Um, if you liked it and you want to see more, then um, why not subscribe? And then you get timely reminders. Uh, if you hit the notification bell, because it's a two-step thing now. It's like two-step, fact, two-factor authentication. So, um, yeah. YouTube. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you again for watching, and I, I do appreciate everyone's uh, um, time um, to take, that you take to watch these videos, and uh, I hope you have as much fun watching them as I do making them. So until next time, I will catch you uh, in the next video. Bye bye.